book must die, Papa Trebuie să moară. It's, um, it's a book about uh, John Paul II, a great, a great character, as husband said here. It's a, a wonderful character uh, and a wonderful person, or it was. And um, uh, I just want to point out that my books aren't religious nor against Catholics. Uh, the books are about people and their actions, just. Uh, okay, it's people that work or, or work in the Vatican, but that's not my problem. Um, but it's important that a religious thriller is different from, from, from this uh, from this kind of book. I just talk about people and I say who they are. Um, and it's important as a, a thriller writer, uh, and I, I, I wrote this as a thriller, be not because uh, of anything else, but because of the freedom the thriller gives, gives to me. Uh, because uh, in a thriller you can write pretty much whatever you want with the information you have. And um, I'm not a fan of non-fiction at all, and I, I'm pretty much sure that I cannot write uh, non-fiction. I'm not really a fan, and I don't like. I prefer thriller because I can sense the characters, even characters that existed. So, and as a thriller writer, I owe to the readers some truth. Some uh, something that they can uh, they can research and they can see it. Uh, Bogdan was telling me earlier that he was reading the the last book, or uh, I think it was one of this this one, and uh, he was telling that uh, he would go to the computer and make research and everything is accurate because I owe that to the reader. The thriller reader, perhaps there is a lot of them here, is very demanding and uh, they like everything right. So I wouldn't write a thriller if I wouldn't have the right information. And let me add that I sell a lot in, uh, in other countries than Romania. In Romania it's okay, but I sell a lot other countries, but perhaps, and I'm not, I'm not saying this to be, to be kind, perhaps the Romanian um, reader is the most interventive because it's, it's the, are the ones who, who gave me mo more feedback. I received dozens of Roma uh, females of Romanian readers uh, asking me questions about some doubts or if they like. Or, um, Thankfully, I don't receive emails saying that they didn't enjoy the book, thankfully. It's very good. Um, but um, yes, and I, that's why one of the main reasons I like to come here, because of that also, to the respect I must have to the reader when I'm writing and when I am promoting. So um, I just hope you enjoy Papa Trebuie Samoara. I hope I said this okay. Um, I hope you enjoy this book. This is a book. Um, this is not to be uh, for you to read and say, okay, now I have, uh, I know the whole truth about what happened to John Paul I or John Paul II. No. The main message of these books are that you should be skeptical at all times in what, when you hear news on TV or you read something on, on the newspaper, you should be skeptical the whole, all the time. You shouldn't just believe in everything you read or see. Uh, you should uh, make your own research, see if uh, you have enough information to have an opinion, because most of the times we have an opinion with a few elements and 
most of the time we don't know what are, what are we talking about. We just know we have we have an opinion on nothing. But um, so if you research, manage the research and have the elements to to uh, to have a full information, then you may have a based opinion. If you don't have we don't need to have an opinion on everything, so there's no harm in the world of art. So, um, thank you very much.